Hello all. Today we will discuss about uh, cloning vector PBR322. PBR322 was constructed by Bolivar and Rodriguez and they named it after their discovery or construction. The PBR stands for P stands for plasmid, B for Bolivar and R for Rodriguez. PBR322 is one of the most widely used uh, plasmid uh, for cloning in E. coli. Here is the structure of uh, the plasmid or the plasmid overview. The PBR322 is uh, uh, 4.3 kb plasmid and um, it has uh, selectable markers and a variety of uh, unique uh, restriction uh, enzyme sites and it has a ORI site for replication in uh, E. coli. The size is uh, 4361 base pair that's 4.3 kb and it has an ORI site. It has a unique restriction sites like uh, ECO R5, BAMH1, Salvin etc. and other selectable markers like uh, ampicillin resistant gene and uh, tetracycline resistant genes. So these are the selectable markers useful for uh, screening transformants. So what are the role of uh, restriction enzymes here is that so you can see here on the tetracycline region as well as on the ampicillin region there are uh, uh, restriction uh, uh, sites uh, which which are very useful for uh, transfer uh, for cloning cloning and ligating your uh, you know gene of interest. So uh, if you want to incorporate uh, a foreign DNA or the gene of interest into this plasmid you can use any one of these uh, restriction enzymes to cut this at this particular region and these are very spe uh, sequence specific so the use of um, use of these enzyme restriction uh, enzymes will create uh, specific patterns or they cleave only on the specific region where where uh, you can incorporate your, uh, your DNA of interest so if you have a synthetic gene or uh, the gene isolated from from the from the bacterium of interest or your gene of interest uh, can be can be ligated uh, to the the cleaved region in the tetracycline uh, res resistance region or to the ampicillin resistant regions and that can be ligated using an enzyme DNA ligase and then further transform can be transformed into the in the bacteria for um, for growth and selection so that can be expressed in bacteria so that is the whole idea so if you have uh, have a gene of interest and if you want to clone it you need to first cut out the plasmid using one of these uh, this restriction enzymes and then ligate your gene of interest into the plasmid and then transform into the into the bacteria of interest host of interest here in this case E. coli this is mostly expressed in E. coli so it has a ORI site ORI site is the origin of replication site so this is useful for this plasmid to replicate in inside the bacterial cell so this is very important part so ORI site uh, ORI site is important that uh, only with this it, it will be able to replicate inside the bacterial cell. So that is the role of restriction enzymes here. So using the specific uh, restriction enzymes, we can we can cut wherever you want in the plasmid and ligate your gene of interest for further transformation. And what is the role of selectable markers here? So you can see from this image. So there is a you have a isolated a, a particular DNA and if you want to into excise certain portion of it or the gene you want to get cloned can be excised using using the the enzyme one of the restriction enzyme which creates a specific specific digestion pattern or the cut pattern and that can be ligated into the plasmid and you can see the gene of interest so if, on nowadays this can be synthesized also if it's from shorter region this can be synthesized synthesized uh, and that can be cloned directly onto the onto the the vector you can use a pcr technique for uh, also for for ligating this into the into the plasmid or creating the the foreign dna of interest you can create the particular sequence uh, ordered and you can you can align it using a pcr technique and further can be ligated into the into the plasmid so once that is 
that is ligated that need to be transformed into the vector of inter or the host here in this case e coli so this can be transformed into the e coli and can be grown grown on a on a suitable media with uh, selectable markers so here in this case you can see if you are so the role of this tetracycline resistant gene and the ampicillin resistant gene is that so when when uh, when a uh, when the, when the bacteria is carrying this plasmid so this will be resist uh, this will be able to grow on a media media containing ampicillin or the tetracycline so if the bacteria bearing uh, this plasmid will be able to survive in a media having ampicillin or tetracycline how it works is that so the gene present here ampicillin resistant gene will produce beta lactamase enzyme that will cleave the ampicillin so that is how it works so ampicillin resistant genes produces beta lactamase enzyme that that can degrade the the beta lactam ring or the ampicillin so thereby it can survive on that particular uh, selective media so this is extremely useful for screening transformants so, so once you have uh, transformed uh, the bacteria with the with the the ligated ligated uh, vector so you are not sure how much of these plasmid has got the uh, the foreign dna some of them will be transformed without the foreign dna so if you want to know or you want to select the transformants we need to grow it in a selective media to ensure that only the plasmid containing maintaining your gene of interest is only growing in that particular media so for the, there are two strategies for that one is uh, to clone on the tetracycline region so in that case uh, once you have cloned into the tetracycline region uh, the gene will be inactive so that process is called insertional inactivation so in this case uh, if you are using a damage one and you are ligating uh, your foreign dna into the tetracycline region the tetracycline resistance gene activity will be disabled so when you grow it on a tetracycline media it will not grow in this case if you are cloning onto the tetracycline and, uh, gene so it will be able to grow only on the ampicillin ampicillin containing media so how you select is that so first you grow it on an ampicillin and media and if it grows and then transform that into a tetracycline media and mark the colonies which you have selected from the ampicillin and which is not growing on the tetracycline will be your desired colony so that can be picked up from your master plate so that is how it works so once you have transformed this need to be grown on a specific selective media so either you can use ampicillin or tetracycline then selective media depending on on where you have cloned your your gene of interest thank you for watching if you like the video please subscribe